All right, so when should they start looking for, you know, new construction if they're considering it? You know, what's like the timeline? So new construction, there's a couple different options. I would say uh, we sell a lot of homes, new construction that are up in their like a model, a spec home and the builder or the buyer goes through and says, yep, we'll take it. Um, there's that, that version or there's the version of we went and looked at the model or the spec, missed out on it. Somebody else bought it, but we want that same house on a different lot. You know, we run into that a lot too. Uh, that is a six to 10 month process, depending on the size of the home, price range, uh, a few other variables, but it's about a six or eight month process. Um, people who are selling their home or need to sell their home, this works out pretty well. You know, touch mm -hmm. base on that, because I know you've had a couple um, yeah. scenarios yeah yeah we we line it up like the whole process depending on the builder's timeline so we kind of try to focus on you know if they have a a date set up we try to give you that buffer when you're selling you know to make sure you're not going homeless or you know getting out of your house too soon so we definitely have good communication the whole the whole way through the build process and then when it's down to that last 60 days or 90 days you know we can fortunately turn the, put the house on the market and usually get a buyer for that sale and then you know you guys are clear of your two mortgages you know um so so it's really in today's world it's it's super seamless we've done it probably four or five times even this year mm -hmm. um yeah yeah it's uh it's every situation's a little different so it's hard to like just say hey here's a cookie cutter but, um, you know, knock on wood, we haven't had any situations where somebody was really nervous about making a second payment or they were really worried about if their house was going to sell. Um, we've had, you know, we had really good success with just making sure knowing when your house approximately is going to sell. Is it going to sell in the first week, two weeks, month, and then timing it to where the, the person buying it um only needs or you're only gonna need 30 30 days of possession afterwards so we go backwards off of the projected build time that's the mm -hmm. thing that we can't control uh it's a good topic just to kind of throw in there mm -hmm. new construction is a really difficult process with a lot of moving pieces so when one window company is behind or one one um, contractor is behind just be prepared that that's gonna um, push back everything, sometimes one week. Mm -hmm. um, so when somebody says, "Yeah, we're gonna build and it's done in six months, you know, don't go out six months and just start planning everything around that date. It's a crazy moving piece that just keeps moving on you all mm -hmm. the way to the end. So, but we're good at keeping in, in touch with the builder. Yeah, and um, something I wanted to bring up, you were mentioning if a client misses out on say they had a spec house or something a lot of times if you do go the route of the neighborhood you know bigger neighborhoods there'll be maybe a foundation poured around the corner or something mm -hmm. up their pipeline um, and you don't have to go through all the motions of picking out the lot picking out everything you know floor plan wise if you're kind of more hey, I just want something new and a two-story style Mm -hmm. and oh they have one you know coming up over here a couple options over there um, and if you get real lucky you could still maybe make a few selections if that builder allowed it um, or if they're not totally you know bought everything into that build already um, so that's that's worked out pretty good too yeah yeah the the, the cool thing is with the um, uh, a lot of the big builders in town is they have a lot of the um, they're not going to overwhelm you. You know, they're not going to say there's a thousand doorknobs to pick from. So have fun for the next week picking out a doorknob. I mean, that 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 if you do a, uh, if you do a custom, that is an option. Yeah. But I like how the um, builders, the bigger builders in the area, they have a really good system to where they're going to say, hey, here's your three options for doorknobs. Here's your four or five options for cabinets, so that you don't get overwhelmed. I mean, the whole goal is to give you a lot of selection and option, but not overwhelm you because it could get overwhelming in a hurry if you just walk into a Lowe's and look around. Yep, <laughs> I'm one of those people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Take the list of what I'm supposed to get and then I don't get basically anything yep. on the list. And Exactly. Yeah, so I'd be more of a spec style unless 
I had somebody helping in the decision making. <laughs> well, that's a good topic. Yeah. So uh, once you get to a certain tier of new construction, because we sell all different levels of it, um, you know, I don't want to quote a price range, but you know, once you get up to like maybe your forever home or your retirement home or whatever, a lot of those builders um, are flat out custom builders and they have interior designers that are part of their staff mm -hmm. and they're going to work with you. Um, yeah. We built, had that, we um, had that, you know, first class white glove experience where, you know, my wife was meeting at the cabinet uh, company or no, these, there's ours is custom cabinet. So let's say the, um, uh, they were meeting at the um, tile place, you know, and there's one giant store and all they sell is tile. Yeah. And the interior designer says, hey, these five things are gonna look good with what you have going over here. So there's that level of it too. Um, you know, that's a fun way to do it too, you know, but having that expert helping you is, is key. I mean, yeah. to, to literally do it all yourself. I don't know, <laughs> I don't know, I don't know about that. Right. All right, well, thanks, Mark. I think we got quite a bit of information and uh, definitely we're eager to hear more about your situation personally. And like Mark said, it's kind of tailored to, to what you have going on and then we can kind of give you the advice based on what we've experienced. Um, yep, There's that's the cool thing about our job is no two deals are the same, no two families are the same situation. So it's, uh, it's kind of exciting to walk you through, um, letting you know what might work best for you. Thank you. Thanks. See ya.